A controversial pet safety bill in the Hoosier State would set up more regulations around the retail sale of dogs. And while authors of the bill say it would put a stop to puppy mills, local experts say it could actually make the problem worse. Fox 55's Brianna Byers spoke with Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control today. She joins us now in studio. Bri, why is this pet safety bill so controversial? Well, Tara, it is controversial, but the thing is, on the surface, House Bill 1412 seems pretty straightforward. It passed through the House 59 to 36 and is now headed to the Senate. The goal of the bill is to improve the canine standard of care, and if it passes, it would change state laws around how retail pet stores and animal shelters operate. Pet stores often get the dogs that they sell from commercial breeders, and local experts say many of those breeders run puppy mills. So this bill would enforce that every dog that goes into a pet store be checked to reduce the number that come from puppy mills. And that might seem pretty straightforward, but Amy Jo Seitz with Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control says it wouldn't actually make a lasting impact. It would just put a huge burden on her staff because they're the ones who have the legal authority over the city when it comes to animal ordinances. We now would be responsible for ensuring that every pet or every puppy that comes through a local pet store was cultivated from a canine care certified program. She says depending on the number of pets that need to be inspected every single day, that could become one of her staff members full time jobs just checking those dogs and she doesn't have the number of people to spare for that position. Now the bill would also stop the ban on pet stores selling dogs that's already begun in 21 cities around the Hoosier state and Joe site says since so many pet store dogs come from puppy mills, she would much rather see that ban continue and people get their dogs from animal shelters. She just got back from testifying in Indianapolis and she says anyone who wants to join her fight in fighting that bill should call their local senator. In studio, I'm Brianna Bias, Fox 55 News.